Hi, this is Tammy Brown with an IE, and you're watching A Queen Who? TV. I don't know if it's really TV, but I'm calling it that today because I'm taking no prisoners. Who's the best to tour with? Kelly Mantles, I really like Kelly Mantles. She's one of my favorite people to travel with. The reason Kelly is so much fun to tour with is because, you know, she gets me going in a special way. She's fun to talk with late at night and she's always ready to have some fun. One of the queens that throws the best parties. Who? well, I'll tell you who's a good disc jockey. That is Miss Trixie Mattel. You know, spin those records. <laughs> I would say Pete Burns, but he is dead. Who's always on time and always early? Oh, that bitch again. <laughs> no, I'm just acting. Uh, who's always on time? Well, there's a lot of queens that are always on time. That's why they're so professional. My favorite is Valentina. And what did Rebecca Glasscock say from season one? You never rush a queen. And hello, they can't start filming until we're there. So get with the program, bitch. Well, most intimately, I would say that Lady Bunny understands me the most intimately. Why, why is that? Because I made it up, that's why. No, um, Kelly Mantles, of course. Who do I love to party with? I can tell you about the ones I don't like to party with because they're thuds, but we don't like to f focus on bad things. So who do I like to party with? I like to party with Jules from Long Beach. Recently, we've been working together and having a lot of fun backstage, laughing and scratching, as they say. One of my favorite stories is when we make fun of Ron, who deceased a while ago. Because <gasps> he was an old bitch. <laughs> I used to be Ron's pool boy back in the day. And he'd be like, see that sofa over there? Those pillows came from Liberace's house. And then his dog would piss on it. And it's like, okay, really? His little, was it a skipper key or something? Whatever that nasty little thing was. I like animals, but I don't like when they get on the table and piss on the dining room table. See that china over there? That came from the Princess of Versailles. I used to be a popular, well-known interior designer, and that's how I have these things. Hey, Pootha upstairs! That's what I call Jules, she's fat. That was Don. So we laugh about his death when we're backstage. <laughs> Partying. Ooh, gotta party, you gotta be wicked. Don't be shady, pay the lady. Hmm, let's see who throws the best shade. Well, I'll tell you who likes to make pretty faces. And who snickers at it? Who snickers at that is Latrice Royale and I backstage. <laughs> Cause there's this queen over there and well, she, Miss R Richfield 1988 or whatever she goes by, Miss Richfield, she thought she was throwing shade and I'm, me and Latrice are looking at each other giving pretty faces back and forth because this one has a strap under her head to hold on, you know, under her chin to hold her wig on, this Miss Richfield. And it's like, girl, you want to be reading in here? <laughs> There's holes in your shade. Well, how would I say? I really think Barla Jean Merman is a real crack up. Why does Varla make me laugh so much? Because she's funny and she's not afraid to make fun of herself and have a good time looking so beautiful. Oh, a queen that never backs down. You mean a queen that's always blazing trails? Well, not entrails, but trails. That is Miss, uh, what, who inspires me a lot is Miss Bianca Del Reno. Bianca Del Rios. I call her Reno, like Reno, Nevada, where people go to get a divorce. <laughs> you might want to divorce yourself from being in her audience sometimes because she's going to tear your head off. But hey, I love her. She inspires me, actually. Well, a queen that has, you know, some kind of sleepless nights, you know, what is that called? when you Insomnia, that's who. Insomnia, yeah. Have you ever heard of the queen insomnia? Google her and you'll find her. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't sleep. Where is she from? from mind your own goddamn business. That's why the Google's there. <laughs> Strangest routines. Well, I don't want to get clobbered, but a strange routine. I'll say Rebecca Glasscock on season one, she had some strange routines, like um, separating all of our makeup boxes and putting like a three feet and tape, separating her whole station when the the counter was probably like nine to 12 feet long and she, there's not enough room for all the girls, but she took that space and didn't let anybody encroach on her. 
other things she did too, like saying she was stalking me on the internet. And I'm like, well, you weren't really stalking me. I'm, I'm, you know, I do have a, a MySpace at the time, you know, and and so it's not, it's out there, you know, you can Google and then I pop up. So you're not really stalking me. You're learning my trajectory and, you know, a fan perhaps. But you know, I find that kind of awkward when people say that they're stalking you when you're easily accessible with social medias, you know. So hey. Thanks for the stalking. I mean, it's not like you're sneaking in my room wearing my panties and brawls or something, getting off to it. Now that's cool. I did have a neighbor that would do that, but he's dead as well. I think all of us have a wild imagination to get this crazy and fun. <laughs> oh gosh, maybe we'll say, oh gosh, what's her name? The one that put that, Lornacia, Lornacia. How about Lornacia? She's that, that thing that that queen wore on her head. Ornacia. See, I mix it all up. Scrambled eggs and spaghetti. God, that's a treat. Well, that's me, of course. Hello. <laughs> cooking with Tammy Brown. Cooking, not cooking. Yeah. One day I'll have a cookbook. I would say it's Americana with a twist. The biggest influence of the, my, my cuisine is um, with um, Asian, Asian influence. Thai and uh, some Vietnamese and Japanese thrown in here and there. And I did have a roommate that was half Filipino, Bonnie. So we had some lumpia from time to time, or lumpia, lumpia, yeah, delicious. I also had another friend, she taught me how to make fried rice, Japanese style. Is there a queen that I haven't worked with yet that I'm dying to work with? I think it would have to be, I would like to work with Dolly Parton. Why would I like to work with Dolly Parton? Because I think it would be fun, laughing and scratching, and she's an earth angel, why not? Tina's retired, so can't work with her anymore. Tina Turner, that is, not crystal meth, because they used to call Tina Speed Tina, you know? Oh, God. Lingos, word on the street, Urban Dictionary. You got any Tina? That means, do you want to do speed? Or do you have any speed? Hey, please subscribe and like the PEG YouTube channel. Peg, as they say. Hashtag peg. YouTube channel. Please subscribe. Please take some time to subscribe. You'll know you'll need it. Ow. Staying up late at night. Need something to do? Here you go. Please subscribe to our PEG YouTube channel. And I say R because we are special. Get those cameras rolling, let's get the action going faster than a foreign car. You're gonna go far. Go, Tootsie, go. Doom, 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 doom. Big red lips, mm, blowing kisses at me. And those big brown eyes winking back at me. Ooh, Tootsie, you're a real razzler-dazzler, you. P.E.G.